The original Via was meant to compete against some other oversized cushion shoes that we actually already carry on the wall. And to be honest, it was kind of a flop. Stay tuned to find out if they address those issues and if this shoe is worthwhile for you to pick up. Just a quick disclosure here, uh, I actually borrowed these demo shoes. These are not paid for, these were not given to us, and we were not giving any direction at all from Ultra about this video. These are just sort of our thoughts on this upcoming model. So let's dive into it. The Ultra Via 2 is coming out in November of 2023 and it's selling for $165. This, as you can see, is an oversized max cushion neutral shoe. It's got 33 millimeters of stack height, and this is an Ultra that is a zero drop Ultra, which I guess we have to say now that we have some models that have a little bit of lift to it. It's an original fit, so it's their widest and most rounded toe box that they offer. And this is a neutral shoe. It also features its Ego Max midsole, and on the men's side, it weighs 11.4 ounces, and on the women's, it's 9.6 ounces. So, this shoe was meant to compete with a couple different models on the wall, specifically a big old Hoka shoe out there. And I think the reason why the Via 1, at least for us, was not as successful as we were hoping for, was that I think people looked at a Via and were like, this is gonna be a giant marshmallow under my foot. And to be quite honest, it was a lot firmer than people thought. So when people got it, they were expecting this like super soft and squishy shoe. And that really wasn't what that shoe was. Not saying that it was a bad shoe and not saying that it wasn't exactly what people were looking for, but I think people's expectations versus how it actually fit were a little bit different. Because you look at it and it feels so nice and soft, and you're like, this is gonna be just oh, luxurious under my foot, but it actually was a little more brick than I think people were expecting or wanted. So for us in the shop, the audience that seemed to gravitate most towards the Via for us were people that were using it for work. We actually had a lot of people that worked, say, like, cashiers or people working at grocery stores or standing, people that just needed a good shoe where they can stand all day on their feet and feel happy and not feel too soft. They tended to like the Via more than somebody who's looking for like that recovery day shoe, that big, soft, long, slow distance day shoe that I think people were hoping for when the Via came out. So for us, I think that's what's most exciting about the Via too is they actually did make this shoe much softer than it used to be. I was taking my pair and I had, I had a demo pair. I had one on one foot and I had a Via 1 on the other foot. And that's always my favorite way to try stuff out is to literally do model by model. You can hear the difference when you walk between the Via 1 and the Via 2. The Via 1 has that like, it sounds like a principal walking through an elementary school. Like you can hear that when you're walking where the Via 2 is soft and glidy and squishy. And that's really what I think most people were looking for in a Via. This does have a little meta rocker feel to it, so it is designed to be that nice, smooth transition shoe. And it also, as you can tell, it's oversized and super tall, but it's great that way because the shoes that it's trying to compete against are much more sort of triangular. It's much more like a wide base shoe that goes out. And I think that's one thing that people liked about the Via that people would pick up against the wall here is this looks like a very big, comfortable shoe, but not so bulky as some of the other shoes that it's sort of trying to emulate. This shoe is tall and this shoe is high cushion and sort of more tall than it is wide, which actually is very nice. And the width on this shoe is nice. The V1 width was also an original fit, but for some reason it was like a weird original fit. We found it ran short. We found that it really didn't fit all that wide compared to some of the other stuff in that same original fit. Like if you compared this shoe to like somebody in a Lone Peak or some other original fit ultras in the same size, this just didn't quite feel as good. I think the Via 2 actually fits more like an original fit. I think the depth of the shoe feels good. And even though this is a demo pair, I think the sizing is gonna be right for where I need to be when I get my own set. Um, so I, I think they did a better job on the fit and feel of the shoe right out of the gate. And I think that's gonna help move a lot more units, at least for us here in the shop. One of the other nice things about this shoe in, in both the, Ego, the Via 1 and Via 2, it's a very deep shoe, which is nice. So if you are somebody who needs to accommodate an orthotic, you have plenty of room in this shoe to take this guy out and throw in a custom or an over-the-counter orthotic to add extra stability. I think that's what a lot of people may end up doing with this shoe. Because it is so soft now, 
you can kind of almost feel, especially as over time and the shoe starts to wear, that if you're somebody who needs a little bit of stability, now that it's so soft, I think it might go a little bit faster. I think that you might lose a little bit of that durability as the midsole is just so squishy soft. So it wouldn't shock me if people were then adding things to it, uh, over the counter inserts or custom orthotic to bring a little bit of stability and bring a little bit of life back to the shoe after a couple hundred miles of wearing it. So I think that's gonna be something that you'll see people using a little bit more, but the overall width the width and length and depth of the shoe should make it easy to accommodate in that. One of the things that we didn't love on the Via 1 that looks like they continue on the Via 2 is very short laces, very short shoelaces. And again, for somebody who like needs a Via and they want to crank it and they got a big old fat foot, you lose a bunch of this lace already. So I, I wish that they would change that. That's one negative thing I found on the both the Via 1 and Via 2, a little shorter laces than I would like. But other than that, if you're looking for that big marshmallow oversized max cushion, long distance running, recovery run shoe, a work shoe, a standing shoe, this is a great option. It doesn't come in any width, it's just this one width. But I will say one thing that they did nice on this as well is they make an all black blackout version of it. So I think people also that need a shoe for work that has to be all black, this shoe will go heavily into the rotation because it is extremely comfortable. And it is interesting when you put one on one foot and one on the other between the vias. They're very different and it's, you know, they share the same name, but other than that, like, they really did a great job updating the shoe. This was another nice update from Ultra this year that I, I think they really needed because we were pretty disappointed in the Via 1 to the point where we were contemplating not carrying the Via 2 at all. We just felt like it wasn't the model for us, but the updates that they made, we're really excited about this and we're excited to be able to offer this to our customers starting in November of this year. So there it is, the Via 2. Um, and if you have any questions on this shoe, feel free to leave them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, if you want to purchase this fine product, we'll have a link down below. If you enter promo code RUNMORE, just one word, you'll save 10% on this model and we'll ship it out for free. And if you found this in video exciting, engaging, or entertaining at all, do us, do us a favor and like and subscribe. Uh, it certainly helps us find some new people out there. There you have it. And uh, if you're in the greater Westminster, Maryland area, stop on by and say hello. We certainly appreciate it. Happy running, happy trails, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you around town. Thanks so much.